My goodness. Oh, yeah. That's I'm not the expert. I don't do that stuff, but for me, I feel like I think that's what people enjoy. Well, they, yeah, yeah. You definitely <laughs> want the powder. You can kind of slice through okay. it. Sometimes it's just really hard or really wet, and it's just so enjoyable when it's powdery. And it doesn't always happen in the Cascade, uh -huh. so, you know, to get that right now in April <laughs> is just marvelous. Uh, something to be really blissed out about. So if you've been out there, I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, that powder is so useful for us right now. All the snowfall, all the rain, all the moisture that we're bringing in, all the water that we're taking in right now for this, uh, the, well, the last five days is going to be so helpful for us as we get into the summer. A lot of the basins around here have seen a jolt because of that snowfall that moved on in over the last few days, especially through the Cascades, the Willamette Basin. We've had improvements for Central and Eastern Oregon as well and down towards the Rogue Basin. So you can see the percentage of normal right there. Yeah, we still need as much as we can get to South Central Oregon and to the east there. That's where they're really dealing with drought conditions already, piggybacking off of multiple years, and they're still just doing uh, a little bit slower than they should be at this time. So hopefully we can bring some more snowfall in. There is a system out there right now to the south that may help them out slightly, but they need a lot more than just a little boost. Okay, here's the snow report today. You can see Mount Hood Meadows behind me 10 inches over the last 24 hours. There's the base. Timberline at 13 inches. Look at the base there, 172 inches. All the winter weather advisories nearby have pretty much expired, but you can see yeah, there's some locations in southeast Oregon that still have a winter weather advisory. It's because of this system right here that's going to push some more moisture in as well as produce some snowfall. We aren't really going to be uh, connecting with that, let's say. We're going to be working with this right here. You can kind of see this area of low pressure cycling around. That's going to usher in a couple showers and maybe even some thunderstorms as we go into tomorrow. For tonight, it looks like just some really spotty showers. A couple of them bringing in some heavier rain. And you notice as that little bulk of moisture moves into the Cascades in Skamania County area, that maybe we're seeing some snowfall there. Okay, so for the coast tomorrow, temperatures in the 40s. Possibility for a shower thunderstorm in the morning. Upper 40s for us in the valley. Again, kind of cool and showery. Madras at 45 with maybe a snow shower in the morning in areas of the gorge. 47 for Hood River, the Dalles at 52 and government camp at 35 with another shot for some very light snow. Liz, coming up in my extended forecast in just a few minutes, I'll also show you the seven day and I want to talk about rain because we've seen so much rain out there and uh, that's going to be something to kind of brag about because the last couple springs have been very dry. So it'll be nice for us uh, once we get to uh, well, the end of this month and we see all the rain that we've collected. Yeah, and this unstable weather that we had, especially today, yeah. that's been bizarre. It's already been a very strange but exciting week in the weather department. So busy, <laughs> but it is exciting. Yeah, thanks, Joseph. <laughs> hey, still